Vice President Kamala Harris held a rally in the swing state of Arizona, where former President Trump has a lead in most polls. Lately, Harris has been warning supporters that Trump would like to do away with the Affordable Care Act. And he has a powerful friend in Congress, the Speaker of the House, who recently said, if Trump wins, there will be, quote, no Obamacare. It would throw millions of Americans off of their health insurance. Both candidates are pushing their policies, but this week has brought its fair share of distractions. Harris's running mate Tim Walls poked fun at Trump's photo op where he climbed into a garbage truck. Now look, this dude's nearly 80 years old. He damn near killed himself getting into a garbage truck. And Trump returning the favor, this time zeroing in on President Biden's decision to drop out of the race. He quit like a little loser. He quit. He quit. During a multi-state swing, Trump spoke in Henderson, Nevada. The fate of our nation is in your hands. This is a very big state for us. This is a very big state. I love it. I'm here a lot without campaigning. But I want to tell you, this is a big one, and it looks awfully good. And now the former president is suing CBS News for $10 billion. His attorneys claim the network engaged in election interference, accusing CBS of deceptively editing an interview with Kamala Harris. Vice President Harris announced she will spend election night at her alma mater, Howard University. Trump will spend the night in West Palm Beach. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.